Hello everyone, my name is Kelly Land and I'm working at the Kemp Center for the Arts and today I will be showing you how to draw a longhorn. Um, so first off, you'll want to have your piece of paper in landscape so you don't run out of room. And um, I'm going to start over on the right hand side and if you are new to drawing, um, it is very important that you are sketching. So that is insanely important. So whenever you sketch, you're drawing lightly, you are not making a permanent line. You're finding the line that you're wanting um, to end up with. So first we're gonna start with the head. Um, it's a little bit of a strange shape. Now, it's important whenever you do this shape, um, you don't want it to be uh, too long. So make sure you're paying attention to the length of here in correspondence um, with the length up top and at bottom. And um, the line at top needs to be wider than um, the line on bottom. And actually, I'm going to thin this out just a little bit. I think this is going to be more proportionate by my, me doing this because um, we don't want it to be too bold. So you'll see I'm going to erase uh, this line from the outside. I'm using a eraser pencil that you can buy at Michael's. It's like two pack for $10. It's kind of expensive, but me and my students use it all the time. Um, we like it a lot. So. After that, we're going to go ahead and do the ears. So, and when we want to put the ears, you'll see there's this little divot right here, um, right here too. That's where we'll be putting the ears up. And then do a little bit flatter up top. And go around to the bottom. And we'll do the same on this side. And again, if there's anything that I want to change towards the end, I can. But we're just trying to get the bulk of the piece down first. Um, so next is eyes. So the eyes are going to be going um, right here. And I'm not going to be doing a terrible lot of detail uh, on this drawing. I'm just trying to show you some basic anatomy um, of a long one. And next we're going to go ahead and do the snout. The snout will be a little bit easier because um, we already did most of the work down here. It's kind of already rounded. We're just going to be adding a oval shape right here. You don't want it to be too big and uh, nostrils. Which um, me, I'm just doing like a half circle line because of the way the nostril is shaped. <clears throat> and next, we'll do the horns, which is another easy one. Um, now you can change uh, the length of the horn if you want. But this one, I'll be doing it like this. And whenever you're drawing this, just uh, you want to make making sure that you're keeping aware of uh, how sharp is the angle. So this angle right here is more of an obtuse angle. So you don't want to draw it all the way up. You're wanting it to slant some. And we'll go ahead and do this side. Um, you will see right here, this is where the bend starts. That means that's where I want the bend to start on the other side which is right here. And again, we want to make it um, remotely the same width. So. And that is not the same height. So let me show you how to um, pair, make sure that this is even. 
So if you draw a guideline up at top, um, I can see, okay, well, this is where it needs to hit this bed. Maybe a bit longer. Let me my other more. And that looks um, pretty good for me. Next, we'll be starting the chest, which is going to be at the halfway point of where we started the nose. Um, and their chest is not going to be like a perfect half circle because they got loose skin. So, and put a little um, bump right here. We don't want it to be a perfectly straight line. And um, next, I'm going to go ahead and draw the back. So, we want the back. Oh, okay, so you'll put your pencil right here. It's a little bit below the top of the head and go to the left, and that's where we are going to be starting the back. So not right at the top of the head, just a little bit under. And it will bow inwards. If you're wondering, well, how long do I need to make this body? Um, this is a good time. So I'm going to be roughly uh, the width of one. So I'm measuring my head right now using my pencil. The tip of my pencil is marking one side of the head, and my thumbnail is uh, marking the other side of the head. So now I can measure one, two, three. It's going to be roughly the width of three heads. Um, this is something I try to teach my students. Uh, it's about ratios. It helps keep things proportionate within each other. So next, we'll go ahead and um, I am going to go ahead and draw the rest of the body. Um, some tutorials will stop at this point and I'll just go and start working on the legs. I don't think that's the best way of doing it um, because we want to see the bulk of the long horn itself. So we're going to go ahead and bring this around. point he is a little bit short so I'm gonna make him a little bit longer so that's my first line that I don't need so this is going to be um, roughly the width of the long horn and it's going to come upwards some because of the shape of the body. And most cows, as well as longhorns, they'll have their lowest point right about halfway. Uh, so we'll do it like this. And this is the main body that we're going to be going with. We're going to be erasing stuff later on, but we don't need to be concerned with it yet. We'll go ahead and do um, the front legs first. They're easier to do because um, their movement of their joints are normal in the sense um, they're similar to how a human's leg is. So we want to start the leg. Um, so this is the front of the chest. We're going to be starting the leg right here. And this is roughly the thickness that we want. And anytime you're doing legs, the upper part is always going to be wider um, than the base. So that's just how it is. Um, and we're going to um, make this first joint that we run into a little bit wider. Um, and then we'll go and narrow it again. Now. Uh, something that I have not mentioned is how long do we need to make um, this leg? So the leg needs to be roughly the length of um, the actual, that's the height of the body. Um, there will be a, yeah, so we're measuring from here to the hook and it's, again, it's going to be roughly the same height. 
and bring this all the way down. Now this is how you do um, horses as well. It bends back here, which is the ankle, and it's going to go forward. Okay. And this is going forward as well. And we'll go ahead and put our first hook down. Um, I'm going to make this mixed up easier so that way hopefully anyone can uh, draw this at home. Um, anytime we are drawing the other side we can make it easier by essentially we are kind of just tracing what we already did um, behind it. The only thing is, is that the end point you will want, I'll show you in a second, the end point right here um, of the hook needs to be higher than this one uh, closest to us because of depth. That is implying that this hook is behind the other one um, and it's letting us know there is like, you know, a foot of distance between these two legs, essentially. So next, we will go ahead into um, the back leg, which will a little bit harder um, and I like to tell my students whenever we're drawing any type of animals and it's really important to like when you're at the zoo or you're at home and you have pets or any opportunity you have um, to observe animals it's important to see like how do they move what makes them different from other animals it's just uh, observation of an artist um, it's an important job that we have so we know that this point right here, that is where the knee is. Well, um, the back leg has a backwards knee. So we are going to want to um, have our end point be over here, which is, if you again draw a line over, that's where it's going to be hitting. It's going to go inwards and then um, back out. And uh, We'll go ahead and start this back leg, the front side of the back leg. Now this right here is going to be a pretty straight shot. It's not going to be a curved line, it's going to be pretty straight, um, except for it will curve right here. Because um, again, they have loose skin, so this is actually loose skin that we're seeing right here. Um, and then Again, uh, it helps if you go ahead and draw a platform, something basically something that the longhorn is standing on so that we know, okay, we need to get the hook down here somewhere, some way. So that's our ending point. Um, I'm going to go back this way. And don't forget the ankle. So the ankle will bend here. That is our back leg. And we'll be doing the same thing as we did for the front one. Um, we'll be showing a little bit more of the back leg. Um, so we'll start here. But then at this point, we're going to have it bend out a little bit more. So that way we are showing um, even more depth. That's probably right there. Okay. And next up, yeah, all we really have left is the tail. Um, and then to erase some of our art line lines. So right here, we're just going to smoothly transition into a tail, this line. Um, and it'll end roughly around the knees. Um, and with all tails, it's always the same. The thickest part is going to be at the base, and the thinnest part is going to be at the very end. Um, so like this, and then he will add a tuft at the end for his tail, and that'll be it for this part. And we can go ahead and erase um, our other lines. Two. 
And then at this point, um, if you wanted to add detail, um, it'll be important to uh, you know look up a reference picture online for like the detail of um, a longhorn's face. I'm just adding uh, pretty big circles within um, the eyes that we have put down because their eyes are huge and you hardly see any white on their face. And then if you want to, um, just shading very lightly, if you add just a little bit of shadow here and here, it'll help give us uh, more of the depth that we are wanting in the piece. Um, And they do have uh, brow bones as well, so I'm just doing just a little hint up here to make him more realistic. And that is how you draw a longhorn. 15 minutes. Um, I hope this was a helpful tutorial for you all. And um, if you enjoyed doing this piece with me, um, my youth drawing class is devoted to um, drawing a wide assortment of um, animals and of course if there is an animal someone wants to learn we will definitely get to it so i hope everyone has a great day and thanks for watching